This video is intended for email campaign admin users. One of the most effective ways to communicate with all of your customers at once is through EasyLinks email campaigns. Create customized templates and generate specific lists of recipients using our reports to inform your customers of the benefits of additional insurance coverage, send updates regarding agency information, and remind them of their value to your agency via birthday and anniversary campaigns. In this training, you will learn how to complete setup tasks for admin users before sending out a campaign, so let's get started. To set your email campaign settings, hover your mouse over the Communication Center icon and click Settings under Email Campaigns. One of the first things you can set up is an agency logo. If your agency has branches, you can share your logo with them by clicking here and selecting the branches you would like to share to from the drop-down menu. Once you save, the logo will be shared automatically. You can prevent users at your branches from changing the logo by checking this box and selecting the branches in the drop-down menu. Please note that this does include admins as well. Once this is saved, your agents at the selected branches will not have the option to make any changes to the logo. Before uploading your agency's logo, please review the disclaimers and note that the maximum file size for the image is 1 megabyte. We suggest checking your logo's file size before uploading it if you're not sure about the size. To upload the logo, click the Choose File button. Next, locate the logo on your computer and click Open. Then click Save and OK on the pop-up window, and your Preferences tab will update. You can delete the logo by clicking here. Please note this can also be done in the User Settings option under your Profile icon. The next thing you can set up is an email signature. The signature set here will be inserted into all emails you send as well as all email campaigns you start. Click the blue Modify button and type the signature desired. Using a personalization tag means never having to update your signature when agency info such as the address or phone number changes. Insert a personalization tag to pre-fill your signature with the data EasyLinks has on file for your agency. When using a personalization tag, you'll want to click in the email field where you'd like to apply the tag. For example, you can use your agency's logo as a personalization tag by clicking on the Insert Personalization Tag button and selecting Agency Logo from the drop-down menu. You can use a fallback personalization tag to insert a different tag in case EasyLinks is unable to find the initial personalization tag by checking the box and selecting the fallback from the drop-down menu. You can promote more business by using this feature to also insert a link to your agency's consumer quoting portal and client center. For all other links, such as a link to your website or blog, use the Insert Link icon here. For tech-savvy users, there is an HTML source code button at the top left to add even more features to your email signature. By default, when someone replies to an email you sent from EasyLinks, the reply is sent to the email address EasyLinks has on file for your user account. To send replies to a different email address, enter it into the Email Address for Replies field. Use the Insert Image icon to include any additional images you'd like. One way to upload an image is to paste a URL for an image from a file hosting site into the URL field. If you're not sure what your image's URL is and you're using Chrome, you can find the URL for the image by right-clicking on it and clicking Copy Image Address. When you're ready, click Save. You can also upload an image from your agency's image library or your computer by clicking Browse Server. In the pop-up window under From My Library, you'll be provided with any images that have been uploaded to your agency's signatures. Click on an image, then click Next to add it to your email. Under the From My Library tab, you can upload your own image from your computer by clicking From My Computer, then choosing the file, and clicking Next. Here, you'll need to enter a title for the image and crop it by dragging and dropping the frame around the image you'd like to keep. When you're done, click Next. If the preview looks good, then click Save to add the image to your email signature. You can choose to automatically use this signature at the bottom of all email campaigns here, or 
only email campaigns with your agency personalization tag. If you have branch offices, you can click here to set this signature as a default for your other offices. Any agency set up here will not be able to edit the signature. You can also click here to use the display settings for this email signature. Any agency set up here will not be able to choose to insert a signature or personalization tag in their email campaign signatures. If your agency uses EasyLinks Consumer Quoting, you can include a link to it in your signature with the Consumer Quoting Personalization tag. The link will contain a validation prompt that is unique only to the primary applicant or the first person listed on the EasyLinks account details page. This allows them to update their application data for remarketing or to run all new quotes. Be sure to save after making any updates to your email campaign signature. Email campaigns cannot be changed after they've been sent out, only canceled. So once you've set your agency's logo or any other images in your signature and saved it, we highly recommend sending yourself a test email to confirm that the image appears correctly. If you need to cancel an email campaign, you can navigate to your email campaign overview from Client Center and click the trash can icon next to the email campaign you would like to cancel. Please note that if any funds were used to schedule the campaign, they will not be refunded even if you cancel the campaign. Here you can select which consumer quoting portal will be included in your consumer quoting personalization tag if your agency has more than one CQ portal. If you do not have more than one portal, this option will be grayed out. When email campaigns go out, they normally go out from the domain Agency Inbox under the email address agent at agencyinbox.com. Now this might be confusing to some of your customers, so email campaign admins can set up easy links to use your agency's email address. To set up a custom domain, click the Custom Domains tab, then click Add Domain. If you do not have access to this tab, you are not an email campaign's admin. Please reach out to your agency admin for assistance. Here, you'll enter your agency's domain into this field, then click Next. You'll need to copy the DNS records here into your agency's email hosting provider. If you're not sure how to do this, then we suggest speaking with your email provider for assistance to ensure this is set up correctly. EasyLink support will not be able to assist you with this process. Once your DNS records are set up with your email host, click Validate. After the email domain is validated, you'll receive a green check mark next to your records, and future emails and email campaigns will be sent using your agency's email domain. Please note that once the DNS records are set up, depending on the host, it may take up to 24 hours for EasyLinks to see this change. Lastly, we'll go over how to merge your email suppression lists for your organization if your agency has any branch offices. The email suppression list is all of your customers that have unsubscribed from marketing emails or customer emails that have bounced. This will merge all of the email campaign suppression lists from your different locations together to be used by all of the locations. You can begin merging your suppression lists by clicking on the Suppression List tab. Next, click Enable. You can move the different locations to the merged branches pane by clicking on them, then clicking the right arrow. You can move all of the locations by clicking the double right arrow. If you need to remove any locations, you can use the single or double left arrows to remove one or all of your locations. Once you're ready, click Save. Please note that once these email campaign suppression lists are merged, they are unable to be unmerged. This concludes our video for setting up email campaigns. You should now know how to upload and share your agency's logo, how to set up your email signature and include personalization tags, where to select which consumer quoting portal is included in your personalization tags, how to set up a custom domain, and how to merge your branch office's suppression lists together for your organization.